Hey, it's the boss. Today I want to show you how to stress test your CPU with a few free tools. I've heard um, there's a lot of problems with um, the Intel CPUs at the moment. The 11900, I haven't had a problem with. Like the 12900, 13900, and the 4900. So today we're going to see how to stress test it. All right, guys. So here we are on desktop with Cinebench R23. But first I'm going to show you how to obtain a few tools. So once we go to Google, we want to go to Tech Power Up, get GPU Z, so we can find out our temperatures with the graphics card, but mainly the CPU as well. We're going to use that little one. And we also want come to um the Guru of 3D and download the Maxion Cinebench R23. I've tried R24, I'm not really liking it. R23 I know, so we'll go by that. Once we install that, we've installed the GPU-Z. Um, we can also get CPU-Z as well if we want to actually see what is happening with our, um, our per-core basis. So mine are all locked at 5 gigahertz, as you can see here. And when we stress test, we want to see if that fluctuates with um, temperatures. So we might think we're you know, locked in at 4.7, 5 gigahertz, base clock, whatever. But unless you actually put it under load... Um, we don't know what's happening with those cores. So we're going to leave that one open. We've downloaded. Um, we're ready to rock and roll. So we're going to put this here. We're also going to get GPU-Z just for... Um, once once you've installed it, you see your graphics card, but you go to Sensors, and you can see all sorts of um, spec, um, specs. So your GPU temperature hotspot, all sorts of stuff like that. But we would just want CPU temperature, uh, CPU temperature down here. Um, so currently we're sitting at 52, but we're not doing anything. Um, I am running an air core on 11900K at 5 gigahertz locked with locked volts. So once we open Cinebench, we're here. Um, we want to go to File, go to Advanced Benchmark. And we want to... Minimum test duration. I would personally run 30 minutes. Um, and do it at least three times to make sure you don't blue screen. If you do blue screen, we have to check what's happening with the temperatures. And we might have to go into BIOS and tweak a few things that bring the core clock down or up your volts if temperature is in check. Um, but mine's all stable. I'm just going to give it a quick run to see how it is, show you guys and girls how it sort of goes about it and how to do it. So we're just going to go 10 minutes. And we've also got um, CPU multi-core and single core. What we want to do is stress test the multi-core because that's the hardest to sort of um, do. So we've got get 10 minutes, go CPU multi-core, hit the start button. And this is going to start up. And you just let it rock and roll. So these are all your logic um, cores per square. So I've got uh, eight cores, 16 threads. So we've got 16 boxes going ahead doing this. And this is going to lap. So you can just go ahead, make yourself a coffee, have lunch, watch a show, whatever. Let this run for half an hour. But do it at least you know two or three times to make sure you're 100% stable. Because um, there's nothing worse than not being stable. Get the blue screen when you're gaming, when you're doing productivity, editing whatsoever. I had a friend recently um, with a 12900K. She was having a lot of problems. And it was actually her um, cooler holding her back. So we, we actually had to down clock her um, base clock and lower her voltage because she was um, reaching a too high temperature threshold and causing instability issues that way. So unless she gets a new cooler, then she can obviously push that performance back up. But just let this run. Um, if you do blue screen, we're going to have to obviously check. But let's check our temperatures. Now, my temperatures are quite high because I do like my computer to be quiet. Um, but yeah, CPU is sitting 91 degrees, 93. But then if we have a look what's going on with our actual cores. So in CPU Z, just sort of right click that and we can see they're all locked at five gigahertz. I am on an air cooler. Um, but yeah, I'm, mine's been stable for a long time. But you don't know what's happening unless you run this test. 
So best of luck. Uh, leave us a comment. I can help out with that. And we'll see you next time.